stink of sin. I had a vision with those who live in sin, their clothes were dirty and their bodies stank of carrion which also exhaled from these people. Jesus said to me, The sins of these people stink before me. Snares of Sin The Lord showed me demons using what people like best to lay snares of sin. They are projecting their death traps, using baits of the pleasures of the world. The Lord showed me the window of the world. I have noticed that there are millions of both good and sinful things that cause destruction in the lives of people. There are many attractive and pleasurable things the world has to offer, Jesus said. All these are traps for death. There are three mortal enemies of the Christian who are his flesh, the pleasures of the world and Satan. Satan needs the legality to be able to act. What he does is to induce, without legality, Satan will have no strength to destroy. The fiercest enemy that Satan is the world with its pleasures, modernity, prostitution, and money. The world has overthrown more believers than Satan himself. The world seduces my servants to death, but the worst mortal enemy is the flesh itself. The flesh does not want to obey my word. Desiring the world, it is a struggle of the flesh and the spirit. The flesh wants to do the will of Satan, so he uses the world and the flesh to divert my servants. He works on personal desires, emotions, and feelings, offering all forms of pleasures in the world, all that the flesh desires, Satan uses in his behalf. Money has been the consuming gold of all flesh and the instrument of corruption of the world and of my word, sin. Here on earth, we will fight not to be slaves of our sinful bodies, it is better to be prisoners of the Holy Spirit doing what he commands not to be slaves of the flesh, to be free is not to do what the flesh wants, sin commands and the flesh obeys, slavery begins with sin and continues eternally in hell, on earth slavery is the sin of the body and its pleasures, in hell, one does not enjoy the pleasure of the flesh and you do not do what you want there, demons have rights over souls, the Lord said. Several people here are playing with their God and pretending to be Christians, my vision was open, I could see dark spots on many people, many people's hearts and minds were black, God knows the intimacy of each person and allowed me to see the interior of each person, stink of sin, I asked Jesus who was by my side, the reason for that stench if they are not meats, but lost spirits, Jesus said that it is the sins they carry with them. Since dinks in hell when your soul was not cleansed by the blood of Jesus, when people reached hell the worms begin to rise from within their souls, the filthy soul sprouts worms that cause the rot and stink, the spirit upon reaching hell is sliced like meats by the butcher, in hell, things become real as on earth, there the spirit bleeds and has bones, hell is a real place equal to the earth, all kinds of death, violence, carnage and prostitution on earth also exist in hell, the earth is only a shadow of the evil that happens in hell, sin, I beheld in hell the prison system that looks like prison cells from the chains of the earth, souls are tortured inside their cells, they are awaiting final judgment, living in painful torture, Jesus said, servant, the sin of the world imprisons people, whoever does not sacrifice the desires of the flesh, and does not kill the sin that is in the flesh, will come to that place, tell the deviants who have fallen in the faith to reflect on their lives, analyze how long they have begun the journey, and see where they have gone wrong and fallen to begin again from where they left off, in the world, there is much division between color, race, peoples, religions, rich, poor, tongues and there is no union between them, in my church, there is no union to worship me. Even hell plays its part in uniting poor with rich and all peoples, languages and religions, all are united in this place of torment, Lord Jesus showed me Christians in hell by committing sins in secret without anyone knowing, this group of Christians hid the sins of their shepherds from being corrected, but they could not hide from God, Jesus showed me the earth, I saw thousands of eyes of fire scattered throughout the four corners of the world. Those eyes did not close and I was watching, Jesus said, the eyes of God are all over the earth, and nothing can be hidden from me, the people and laws of the land are unjust, innocents pay for crimes for lack of evidence, but the law of God is just and your measure is right, former Satanist report on sin, I asked the demon who was with me if he could see what I saw, he said no, 
but said he could touch spiritually weak people. I asked, if you cannot see the inside of a person, it is because that the person does not have God? He answered me, through spiritual sensitivity, I feel the sin in them, sin stinks, I smell and approach the person who is in sin, if I do not smell the evil, I do not approach because I know that this person is clean and purified by the blood of his God. The devil began to point out people in the church who exuded the stench of sin according to him, and everyone he pointed out I could see a dark stain on the inside, that spot he could not see, just me, the demon said, many who are here have their minds contaminated because of pornography, I looked into the heads of many and realized that inside their minds was taken by the darkness, their minds were pure darkness and the evil spirit flew into their minds, the demon said, I could destroy 90% of that church only by black magic, and began to point out several believers who were in sin, he pointed to eight people and said against those we cannot touch as they are the first fruits of this church, the tithing of their God, they are the 10% who are preventing the entire church from being destroyed, they live praying and consecrating themselves, they are the bastions of this place, the church had 80 members, in which eight were untouchables,